Hello and welcome to Thought for July the 6th. Our readings are 1 Samuel chapter 18, Isaiah chapter 62 and Matthew chapter 7. And our thought is, I never knew you. Many of the things Jesus said are very challenging, but few are more so than the words we read today about what will be said to some on that day, Matthew 7 verse 22, that is, the day of judgment. Jesus speaks of those who will come before him, but to some of them he will say, Depart from me, I never knew you, verse 23. These will be among the many who will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and do many mighty works in your name? First, works does not necessarily mean perform miracles. And his reference to those who prophesy, we should not think of them as meaning those who have some gift to foretell the future. The work of those serving God, as we see with many of those called prophets in the Old Testament, is to proclaim God's word, and very often these were words of warning as well as encouragement. Any who speak to others to bring message of Christ and God to them are, in this sense, prophets. Such take a great responsibility on themselves. James, in his epistle, makes the point, Not many, many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. Chapter 3, verse 1. Those who Jesus tells to depart are described as workers of lawlessness. So, what is a worker? We notice as we completed reading Revelation last week, how it lists those who are outside, excluded from a place in God's city, because their names were not found in the book of life. Chapter 20, verse 12. Earlier in uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 5, we read of names being blotted out and others retained in God's book of life. What causes them to be excluded? Those outside are those who do evil things and also everyone who loves and practices falsehood. Chapter 22, verse 15. Those told to depart thought they had a relationship with Jesus, that they knew him, but Jesus never knew them. What is it to know someone? It is to have a real relationship with them. Many human relationships are not lasting today and all too many are getting married before they know each other fully and have fully explored each other's minds and developed a wholehearted rapport. We must make sure we have developed a really strong and committed relationship to and with Christ. Only then will we be able to conquer our human nature and become more and more like our Saviour. Let us remember what we read last week in Revelation 21 verse 7. The one who conquers will have this heritage and I will be his God and he will be my son. Then on that day he will declare, I knew you. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, the Bible, Remembering that word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.